I just got back to camp. I was out walking. I probably up about six hours today, looking for grouse, squirrel, whatever. I just had it looked like three or four grouse behind the uh, tent over there. Just landed. So if my GoPro's dead, or I take that. So I'm gonna go see if I can't get one and bring it back. <laughs> it's a little gruesome uh he was kind of flopping around so i went to wring his neck kind of ripped his head off <laughs> whoops i guess that's the quickest way to go though but look at got myself a grouse pretty birds this is uh the second grouse i ever shot last one i shot was with an air rifle while i was out squirrel hunting five years ago maybe four years ago i don't know but I brought stuff. I was hoping to get one. I've been trying every time I come out here and I never connect to one. I usually scare them off before I get them. Uh, I'm going to make grouse curry with it. Like my rendition of grouse curry or curry in general. I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to get him skinned up and then uh, we'll get him cooking. Normally I would just uh, breast it out. But since I'm out here I kind of want to eat everything that I can. Um, I think I'm gonna, I got the whole bird here, I think I'm just gonna pluck, throw all the feathers right down in the river. Oh, this is plucking easy. I've seen guys, uh, there's a way to do it where you step on their their wings, grab their back legs, or their, well, their only legs, their feet, and then uh, pull. It pulls the breast right out, but I kind of want the skin on it. Let's see. Yeah, this is, oh, I just pulled all the skin off. All right, well, we'll see what I can do, and if not, I'll just breast it out, and I'll cut the back legs out. Yeah, I'm pulling the skin right off it. Ain't going to work. All right, let's breast it out. rinse them off you know for being a bigger bird their bodies really I mean see the size of my hand they're not their body's not that big they're all feathers all right I'm gonna breast it out when you breast it out you can feel the the breastbone there's a little ridge that runs all up and down there just take your knife on one side cut down and along that it's got the wishbone thing right up here just cut alongside that try to stay tight to the bone once you get that cut you can just see if I can get it you get it cut along the breastbone just keep peeling it back Got yourself one breast. There's still another one on there I'm going to get off. I'm going to get as much of the meat off of this as I can. And then uh, that way I got as much meat for curry as possible. Hopefully it turns out. I'm excited. There you go. Two pieces of breast. Now I'm going to kind of go around there's still I mean meat on the back I got this leg I'm gonna cut as much meat off as I can I want to try to use every bit of it since there's not a lot on these things I don't want I mean I don't want to be wasteful anyway but I really don't want to be wasteful when there's not much to begin with there you have it one completely skinned grouse I'm going to get his liver out too. 
there ain't much to it, but you know, heart and liver. I'll throw that in there. No point in being wasteful. Okay, look at his little heart. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> and the liver. There we go. Let's go cook it. Oh man, I'm getting old. So I so badly wanted to make grouse curry. I, like I had that envision in my head the whole time, like months prior to this trip, if I shot a grouse, I was gonna make grouse curry. Forgot all the stuff to make curry. <laughs> Whatever. Actually, I forgot like half the stuff. I was kind of in a rush getting here, so it is what it is. But I'm gonna make, if you ever had bar, like pulled pork, macaroni and cheese, uh, if not, if it's on a menu somewhere, get it, it's really good. I'm gonna make kind of like a barbecue grouse macaroni and cheese. I did bring the stuff to make that. So I got uh, I got the grouse cooking in a, a pan. I have some uh, salt, pepper, some mushrooms in there, and some butter with it. I got the macaroni cooking over the fire right now. Shouldn't be too long. That'll be done. Then we can uh, kind of put that together. One thing I add to my macaroni that's a little different than other people is uh, Alfredo sauce. It's not a lot, just enough to give it the creaminess, and then I add a little milk to it too. It's, everyone that tries my macaroni, usually I make smoked macaroni and cheese, and everyone's like, oh my God, it's so good. But I don't know if it's that or I don't know, but a couple of different types of cheeses, the Alfredo sauce, a little bit of uh, the, the half and half or creamer or whatever. And then uh, this will have barbecue uh, grouse. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I, I imagine it's going to be good. It can't not be good. We'll find out here shortly. macaroni in the pan now I got some uh, just half and half we'll add a little bit of that in there I don't put too much just enough to give it a I don't know, a little creamier flavor and then this is just regular Alfredo sauce I've used a bunch of different types, garlic and all that, and then uh, I think the best one I ever used was a sun-dried tomato. Sounds odd, but it was really good. But we'll add this in there. Mozzarella cheese. Once you get that, I stir it up, that way it mixes it all together, and then you can add the other cheeses and stuff on top. Got some Munster cheese, I love Munster cheese. Throw some, uh, I just got it broke down into little little pieces. Just throw it on top. I'm not going to put all of it in because I want to put some of that on top of the, the uh, grouse. That way it kind of covers it all. And I got some uh, provolone pieces. I just broke them up. I'll do the same thing. Throw a few of those on top. Then I'll mix that in. Alright, so the grouse is done. I just tried a piece. I'll try another piece just to be sure. That's hot. <laughs> Man, grouse is very good. Grouse is excellent. I mean, there's no other way around it. Grouse is... I think grouse is better than pheasant. It's better than duck. It's better than... I think it's better than any game bird I've ever had. Not that I don't like pheasant or duck or anything, but I think grouse is better. 
So I'm going to take all this and I'm going to just throw it on top of the macaroni here. I think I'm going to add a little, little more barbecue sauce. I mean, you could have too much, but I don't know. I think this needs a little more. Now it's time to top it off with Munster cheese and the provolone and a little more mozzarella. Because of the cheese isn't melted in there, we got uh, got it wrapped up in, in aluminum foil. I'm gonna take and set it back on the fire. We'll get it over that for, I don't know how long. I'll check it and see, but the only thing I want to do is I'm not cooking it, I'm just melting the cheese. Oh my God, that's smoky. All I'm gonna do is melt the cheese and then uh, that way everything kind of blends together and we'll give it a try, see how it is. <laughs> I can't guarantee how this stuff tastes, but it smells amazing. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm so hungry or what. All I had today was a little, uh, I think I had a little cup of uh, porcupine stew I made. I'm trying to make that stuff last. But... Cheesy. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god. That is so good. Ooh. Another big old bite of that. That is pure cheese and grouse. Oh my god, that's so good. If you never had like any type of barbecued anything, macaroni and cheese, if you go to like a, a lot of smoke houses have it. Um, just try it. It's you, you won't you won't regret it. It's it's good. If you ever had a chance to make uh, barbecued uh, grouse macaroni and cheese, make it. It's really, really damn good. Oh my God, this is the best combination. This, this is great. I'm almost not mad that I forgot the curry stuff. Oh well. Oh, it's so creamy and cheesy and good. All right. One last bite, and I'm going to finish this. <laughs> Oops. Well, it honestly don't get no better than this. I'm eating a grouse that I shot literally, I don't know, he was probably back over there somewhere. I walked all day to go find one, couldn't find one, and they flew across the river and landed right behind my tent. I just got lucky enough. I had my camera out, I could set that up. I had my scope cam. It, it just, it worked out good enough. I got lucky. I'm glad that happened, because I love grouse. It's, if you have a chance to shoot one and eat one, do it. Even if you don't make this, just cook it in a pan with butter, who cares? Make this so it's worth it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I see you on another one and until then. <laughs>